Hey guys, Chris here with you. Sorry about the wind, but here in Kansas, that's something I always have to deal with. So I hope you guys can hear me. I'll try to make this short. I know how much I hate listening to wind on videos. So, what I've done here is I've set up a trap that I came up with quite a few years back, back when I was a kid. And this is, it'd be a type of lever trap but this is a four stick trigger trap. This is very difficult to set, but the more difficult a trap is to set, the better your trigger system is. So, what I did on this trap to allow me to set my back, to allow me to set my back triggers here, is I took a stick and wedged here just to hold my deadfall up while I messed with this in the back. Now what I did is I've got a little stick or you can put a pebble or something and I've got it underneath my bait stick that's right here. And before I'd set this I would tie the bait to this stick or chew it onto it. Then I've got a stick that is touching the back of the stone back here coming down at an angle and then a brace stick brace in between there and there. And this uh, stick here has got a Y, this brace stick. And this is drove into the ground. You don't have to drive them into the ground. It's just a modification that makes these easier to set sometimes. And then I've got my main lever brace stick going across here. And so when this trigger stick gets set off, what'll happen is this will all fall apart. This lever stick, because of the weight of the stone, We'll swing this lever stick out of the way and hopefully catch the game that I'm trying to cap capture with this. So I'm going to set this off for you guys. So let's say I've got a mouse here coming along, smells my bait, wandering around, and see I'm tapping on this. Once you get these set, if you get them set right, they're pretty stout until they come back and start messing with this stick here drops pretty quick. The more pieces to your trigger system, the uh, quicker they'll fall and the, the less they have to mess with them to set those traps off. So thank you guys for watching. This is another one of those deadfalls that you can set up without the use of any tools or any knives. I did not use anything except what I found to make this. Even driving my this stick here in the ground, I just used stick or a branch and hit on the top of this to drive it in the ground. So this is another good one that you can make without rope or a knife or any tool. So thank you guys for watching.